Hi, welcome back to a quick update. Yesterday you might have seen me mix up some clay plaster, white clay plaster, ready to do the next coat on this wall. Now when you're watching these videos, don't think of me as the definitive single voice on the subject. I might forget a few steps. Luckily, I remembered one of the steps that comes next. Today, I was having conversation over lunch and I was asked, so what are the layers? What's needed to be done? And I said, well, when you get to the end of the base coats, it's a good idea to put on like a, a sealer and a primer before you start the white clay, because that will kind of keep the, the layers a bit separate. You know, it stops the, the red color bleeding through into the thin white clay that I'm about to put on top. And then I realized, oh yeah, that's what I need to do. So I was all ready to race home and start putting white clay on the wall. What I actually need to do is use this uh, natural primer or sealer. It kind of does both things. It's actually just a, a cellulose powder that's mixed with warm water. The water needs to be warm, not boiling, so that the powder can dissolve. And I'll just paint the wall with that. Now the cellulose layer will be painted onto this and it doesn't stop the breathability of the wall. So when water is in its vapor form, it can easily uh, absorb and release from the clay, no problem there. But what it does do is when water is in its liquid form, it stops it sort of soaking in extremely quickly. So it slows down the soaking process. And that's why you can use it, for example, as a finishing coat. So if you run around the house and spill a drink on the wall, most of the drink will just fall off straight to the floor and you give yourself some protection on the clay wall. So it's a, it's a good, easy, natural way to finish the wall and give it some protection. And as a primer, what it's going to do is give a little bit more stickiness to this coat so that when the next one goes on, it's got something else to even stick onto. So there you go. That's as scientific as I'm going to get. Now I will do the wall. And there we go. The bucket's just about empty, so it looks like I measured that out correctly. It was two liters of water and eight grams of cellulose powder all mixed up. And now paint it onto the wall. So that's it for today. This will dry overnight, and then tomorrow I'll begin with the next layer of clay. It'll end up looking like that side. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the update, taking you through every step of the clay plastering. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.